The pomegranate is a wonderful fruit. It's a fruit native to the Middle East, and it's a great fruit to use in a lot of different recipes. Many people are intimidated by peeling it, so we're going to show you today how to do that. My name is Karen Lasher, and I'm the chef owner of Around the Table in Camas, Washington. So we've got our fruit, our um, pomegranate, and you're going to find the pomegranate in the stores in the, during the winter months. We're going to cut our pomegranate in half, starting from the top. Now the pomegranate is something that in the past has been used as a dye. And so you'll see the juice here and it really does stain. So what we want to do, the best thing is to get yourself a bowl of water. And we're going to do this task under water. So what you're going to do is after you've cut it in half, we're just going to put it under the water and we're going to pull back so as to just pop these little seeds out. Don't have your water filled too full here, so you make a big mess. And that will easily allow you to pull all these seeds. Don't worry about all this white, the white um, membrane of that. We're going to, we'll sift that out toward the end of the process. Really what we want here, what we're going to be eating is these little seeds. We can, as we do this, we can pull out our extra and just continue to seed these. Pomegranates are really a good source of potassium. And the whole pomegranate itself, although it would be kind of hard to eat the whole thing, has only 105 calories. There's a lot of cultures that believed that this, the pomegranate had mystical healing powers. And even some um, scholars say that they think that the apple referred to in the Garden of Eden story is actually the pomegranate. So we're just going to continue to get these out again. The water really makes a big difference. Don't try to do this unless you want to dye a piece of clothing a new color or your countertops um, without the water. This really does help. So now we've worked and we've gotten all of the seeds out of our pomegranate. And the next step is to strain the water. And it's good to kind of, a lot of your, the, the membrane, the inner part of your pomegranate will have floated to the surface. It's a little bit lighter than the seeds that have sunk. And so kind of pull those out. It'll make your straining process easier. So this, just using a strainer, we're just going to Pour our water so that we end up with all of our lovely seeds. And this is what we're going to use in recipes and eating. So this, these are wonderful just like this. Have, again, have great health benefits. You're just going to eat them just simply like that. They're a little bit tart and sometimes it surprises people they're a little bit crunchy. In a salad, that crunchiness and that tartness really makes a great um, textural element to a salad. I love a spinach salad with pomegranates and pears. And I can also take the pomegranate seeds and put them in a, in a food processor and blend them up and make a vinaigrette. So, and use that on my pomegranate salad. And it's also quite beautiful with the red. So again, it's a wonderful fruit with wonderful health benefits. A good thing, it also is beautiful just sitting on your counter, good, de good decoration. And this is just a simple and easy way to cleanly peel and seed your pomegranate.